Welcome back to Squawk Box. A new milestone for Disney's Lion King remake, the computer animated movie, has now overtaken Frozen to become the highest grossing animated movie of all time, if you can believe that. Its global take now climbed to approximately $1.3 billion, that's with a B, over the weekend, passing Frozen's $1.2 billion. The Lion King is also Disney's top grossing remake ever. But we should mention Universal's Hobbs and Shell was the top grossing movie at the weekend box office in total in the U.S. and Canada. That, according to Comscore, it brought in $25 million in its second weekend um, at the top of the box office, bringing in worldwide take to $333 million. Its take was, was significantly lower than its number one take last week. I have not seen this new remake yet. Frozen, yes. Frozen, I've seen. I have, I have loyalties to Jonathan Taylor Thomas as Simba. Oh, so. right. But why, sure, surely Lion King's not animated. Why is it overtaking Frozen as an, Lion King's now live it's action computer. remake? It is it's animated. It's computer animation. It's computer animated. Right, but it's not like a cartoon. Frozen's a cartoon, right? It's the year 2019. We have a totally different definition. Category. Animation these well, days. Well, anything that's animated. Either way, I've seen it and I thought it was... You did? Incredible. You did you? I absolutely adored it. But the main reason being, actually, was that I'd forgotten how brilliant the original is. It's just such a great story, such great songs, happy ending, wonderful philosophical lessons in it. And, and this stays so close to the original is why it's so good. And all the kind of reboots are brilliant. I love the new cast list. I love that they kept James L. Jones as Mufasa as the only character. I just thought it was outstanding. I have to tell you, and I don't like to say this because I know the hard work that went into this, the Sorkin Boys, the review from the Sorkin Boys, and I've heard this now from people in this sort of 8 to 12-year-old range, not as high as the adults. Why? Adults seem to love it. Uh, 16 years and old, oh, love it. Younger, some, I don't know. I, I they appreciate think. the critique just, of the Sorkin boys, but I think I'm the just, numbers speak I, for they themselves They do speak for themselves. That's why I don't want well, to rate like on anyone's parade no, they like here. like the original better? They like the original better, but that's because I think they're younger. But to, to your point, though, some of the critics have been lukewarm at best on this. And, and then the too. numbers have that's come through too. and been fantastic. So I was just pleased when I went to see it that I, I, I align more with the numbers than the, the critics. I just thought it was you so good. You like to be a part of the masses? It's still, it's still, no, I just happened to have been part of the masses on this one. I, and Mufasa's death still just terrible, terrible. It's a tough storyline for it kids, is. that one. But it ends well.